what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper, the traffic has been extraordinary, but the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing around the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Goes for goal! And in again. There it is! William is quick to move in. Keeper's handling wasn't great. Well, they say all goalkeepers are crazy, and after that, maybe there's some truth in it. Chelsea go ahead, one goal to the good. Firmino! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Firmino sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Christensen. Jorginho. Conte. Coutinho. Coutinho to get on the end of this. Back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Brazil grab the equaliser and we're all square. Look, get your seatbelts on because this is showing all the signs of another roller coaster ride. Jorginho getting on for a third of the way through the game. So midway through the first half, and it is a tight old tie. Now a chance to break. It could be in here. Real chance! He's there to make a great save. Firmino simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Kepa deals with it effortlessly. Raspilicueta. Christensen. And it's Firmino. He spotted the run and played him through. He's had a shot! Goal! Brazil! And the comeback is complete! 
and as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. Brazil take the lead. Yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Hoists it forward. Pulisic. Emerson. He's got options out wide. by the keeper, he's read that well. And the first 45 minutes are at Brazil, come roaring back in quite some style. We've got a very different game now. The midway point of the game. Well, give me a moment to get my breath back. Uh, what a super half of football. Things in pack, goals, comebacks, and the match being turned on its head. Which way it's going to go from here? It's anyone's guess. Brazil leading by one in a finely poised game. It is intriguing to watch and can easily go either way. Already up and running for the second half. No reported change to either side during the break. Conte. He's found his man. Gets all Abraham! In he goes again! Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we just witnessed the player who was rewarded for his willingness to take the risk, as cunning as it comes. Chelsea can make their change now with uh, a break in play. This is quite a battle. Well, look, Peter, who knows what's about to happen from here. Uh, I doubt this will be the final score, though. Kubic tries a shot! Back in the net! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Just so calm under pressure. Giroud demonstrated great strength there. I mean, he really had to hold his man off and just create enough room for him to be able to get the shot away. And I think it's just top, top play. When the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that face. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Chelsea go into the lead. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Neymar's cross. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. And Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Played out to the right. Speculative strike. Christensen. As Piliqueta plays it forward. Now it's Giroud. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Pulisic. They might, they fires from distance. And that 
big comeback to hope but Firmino is looking pretty upset with himself it should have been a leveler had a foul yes the uh, referee's given it Zuma. Neymar battles to win it back. He's through. Now it's Roberto Firmino. He's left his man. And Firmino! A new sensor! Do not write them off. Back they come. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Chelsea making another change here. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Quite a thriller this one's become. Brazil surely know by now that they've put so much work into producing the equaliser that they'll battle on for a winner. You know, it's, it's all one-way traffic for them now, and they simply have to capitalise on it. Kepa gets it upfield. Jorginho gets into the right position to intercept. Oh, that is asking for trouble. And that's that. Terrific match. Universal commitment to attack. All square and rightly. No loser. Your reflections then, Jim. Well, a decent draw, Peter, with a good mix of...